And looking at what you've been able to do throughout your career, um, senior vice president, chief strategy officer, chief sales officer, and now you've made the transition to being president and CEO of your own business, own company, right? And so first time CEO, child of immigrants, woman, why start a business now and not earlier? And biggest unexpected challenge is being a CEO right now and greatest feeling thus far. Okay. So um, why now? Um, so I'm 53 years old and I'm not um, trying to hide it. I believed, I always believed that I could be successful um, in this space. I have such passion for it. Some would argue that I'm obsessed with the work of transition um, and I had a very specific way that I believe people need to be cared for. In this environment, nothing has been more important than these separating people in COVID to be treated with dignity and care. And what I found in the industry is because it was so lucrative, so many competitors were taking on business that they literally didn't have the bandwidth to do extremely well. And I thought to myself, if my horizon is 15 years, so I probably wanna do this until my mid to late 60s, how would I take care of people through different economic cycles? So not just um, when the business is good, but when there's, um, you know, when, when the employment market goes back to being the way it was in 2018 and 2019, it's how would I want people to be taken care of? And then I went out and I talked to my advisors and I talked to people who I trust. Uh, and they said, um, if you're going to do it, don't just talk about it, do it. And so I started to set off the pieces. My, my first hire was someone uh, he was consultant at BCG. I wasn't sure he would um, join me. He's our COO, David Tyson. And um, we met three times. And I said to him, this is my vision, the, the highest quality of care of people. And he said, I'm in. And after that, every other hire we made, we had everyone else meet. Um, and so now all of our full-time team um, has interviewed with multiple parts of our team. We're in this COVID environment. I have probably 80% of our team members that I have never, uh, I may have met them briefly, but I haven't met them in person. Um, this has been the great equalizer, this environment. So the answer is um, what really um, was exciting to me was to be able to care for people. And that, I mean, I feel like that's back to our earlier conversation about the purpose of why you decided to sit on boards and the service, again, that you're bringing to others, right? Um, thinking about how will I take care of people through different economic cycles between now and your retirement in 10 to 20 years from now. Right. Fantastic. And I didn't answer your question. The single greatest challenge has been um, all of the um, legal tax um, accounting part. Luckily, I'm really, really well, well advised. Um, and I put a lot of resources behind that. But I will tell you that that is something that is not the wheelhouse of the way Rahila wants to spend a lot of her days. I love speaking to clients and people in transition. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so that is um, something that I, I'm not exactly loving, but I stay on top of it. I don't want any trouble with the IRS. Um, the, the part that I have loved like crazy love is the clients that day one through yesterday, when we got our most recent client have said, um, we know nothing's going to go wrong because we know that you are actively involved. This isn't a large organization where um, the leader never touches the actual people in transition. Mm -hmm. That is so exciting to me when clients have unwavering belief. And then on the flip side, you never want to disappoint those people, right? Because they put their trust in you. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other exciting thing is that the people who I told you have worked at multiple organizations with us, they are 
happy as a clam because they're actually getting, we don't sell, we don't have a sales force. We only take clients by referral or people who we've known in the past. And it's almost like old home week where we're all together again. And that's just joyous, Kyle. 